We're here at the 35th anniversary of Coptic Orphans. Honestly, such a pleasure to be here with everybody. And it's absolutely amazing to see so many people all coming together for one cause, which is helping the children in Egypt. Good evening and welcome to our celebration. I can't tell you how happy we are for you to be with us to celebrate together. Today you are here to get and not to give. To get inspired by the stories of the heroes, our children, that actually managed to go through lots of difficulty and prosper. يمكن مع الوقت التأثيرات المادية ممكن تكون بتبهد. لكن الشخصية اللي بنت هي بتفضل موجودة على طول. تأثير كوبتك أورفنز نفسه على شخصيتي حاجة أنا هفضل ممتنة ليها طول حياتي. From your generation to Barbara's generation to my generation, we are passing the torch. Congratulations for all who worked with this great service. This is not just Miriam's story, it is the story of thousands of children whose lives have been transformed by Coptic orphans. Let me welcome the leading by example award recipients, Dr. Mark Goulis and Dr. George Ibrahim. I'm incredibly, incredibly honored. This award carries deeply, deeply personal meaning. My father passed away several years ago, but if my father were here, he would be incredibly, incredibly touched. Thank you. We thank God so much that God's grace has blessed this service and has allowed it to grow and to help the countless the tens of thousands, nearly 100,000 children. So may God continue to bless this service, not only for 35 more years, but for decades, 100, hundreds of more years to come. 35 years of building a connection, of strengthening a community, of becoming not just another charity, but a pillar of the Coptic community.